in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. While the local defense industry is dominated by relatively large companies, there are also smaller companies succeeding in the sector. Keith Campbell reports on one of them. Twigger Services is an example of a successful small South African company operating in the defense sector. Company CEO, retired Brigadier General Damien Delanga, tells us about Twigger and its activities. In uh, 2011, we set up Twigger. Um, Twigger aims primarily to transfer technology skills and capabilities into sub-Saharan Africa. Um, we look to try and develop, assist countries to develop their own capabilities, um, whether this is for the remanufacture of X-Stock, South African uh, vehicles, armored vehicles, logistical vehicles. We also um, manufacture armored vehicles in East Africa together with a, a government so that they can have their own capability. This has taken three years. Uh, we supply weapon mounts for both Eastern and Western Bloc weapons, night vision equipment. Um, we've now launched a, a range of uh, military patrol boats made out of HDPE. Um, there's a few other products which fit into the defense security, homeland security environment. We try to look at what the end users need on the ground for operations, security operations, military operations, operations together with the United Nations, um, and then try and see what we can provide directly or what we can put together with other South African companies and supply into those regions. First of all, Twigger, we set it up with private money, so we are not, we don't receive any subsidies or grants from government. Uh, it's our own money and in a sense that makes you drive your company and find where the work is and um, push that in a way in which you keep your company uh, growing. Um, today we turn over approximately uh, 30 million rand a year. It can fluctuate, sometimes it's a bit more and a bit less. Big challenges for us is finding finance, getting bank guarantees, um, and also a lot of the red tape that surrounds a small company, as well as meeting the conventional arms control requirements. Um, however, we have found uh, markets, supplied goods, we spend a lot of time on marketing and uh, in terms of where our markets are, roughly I would say 95 to 98% is uh, export revenues. We work outside the borders of South Africa. There are small contracts where we supply South African OEMs with weapon mounts or with a particular component for their larger contract. However, I would say about 80, maybe 85% of the goods and services that we procure for our contracts, we secure in South Africa. So we are buying a number of, of components, goods and services in South Africa, exporting and then earning revenue. Other news making headlines this week. Transnet says some capex to be deferred. TPT keeps eye on financial stability and AXA and Munich Airport Inc. sister airport agreement. State-owned freight logistics group Transnet insisted on Thursday that its 340 billion to 380 billion market demand strategy remained intact, but confirmed that some components of the investment plan could be deferred in light of the weaker commodity outlook and South Africa's lower growth performance. The market demand strategy is a market demand strategy. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? means that uh, the investments that Transnet makes, they have to be in line with the market. We will make investments uh, in line with what the market requires. Our view is that some of those investments that were going to be made inside that period uh, may be deferred. But when you defer something, it does not mean that you have stopped. It means you continue, but the period in which uh, you, you do it might fall outside. Why is that? Because it's a market demand strategy. Transnet Port Terminal CEO has vowed to keep the division's balance sheet healthy 
as the South African economy faces low economic growth. The financial stability and the financial health of our business is an area that we give a, a, a focus to, a priority to, and make sure that uh, uh, in the way in which we run these businesses, as in any other private sector business, that uh, uh, this is an area that uh, uh, we always need to make sure is, is, uh, is, is, is well looked after. A new agreement between Airports Company South Africa and German-based Munich Airport Group would see the GEO leverage each other's respective skills, knowledge and regional experience to bolster the performance of their airports. So we, we have sister airport agreement with Beijing, with Bangkok, with Singapore and with Nagoya in Japan. But we always thought we need to have, uh, to, to broaden the scope uh, to Africa. Because in the end, as far as aviation is concerned, Africa is not, not really on the world map yet, except South Africa, but the whole, the whole continent. And um, I do already know AXA for a very long time. Um, and I was always um, impressed by what they have achieved. They have one, the one thing in which they are much better than we are, for example, in engagement in other countries. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.